Over the past several months, I have uploaded a few different videos on how to do different things with your Chromebook, like installing different versions of Linux or installing Windows or creating a, a portable retro gaming system or whatever the case may be. And they've done really well in my opinion. The thing I didn't think would ever happen is people started asking how to turn a, an old laptop into a Chromebook. So uh, I've had, like I said, I've had several people ask how to do that. And in this video, I want to show you how to do that and some of the, the pros and cons or some of the, the, the pains <laughs> that go along with it. Uh, the installation process isn't difficult, but um, cloud ready, uh, never wear, whatever. Um, they've made the whole process less than desirable in my opinion. Okay, so in order to uh, turn an old laptop into a more usable Chromebook, you're gonna need a few things. Uh, first, of course, being uh, an old laptop. Uh, this is an HP Elite book that I've had for a few years and uh, it still works really well, but I'm gonna use it for the purpose of this video. Of course, the second thing you're gonna need is a USB stick. Um, they actually recommend that you do not use, a, I believe it's a SanDisk uh, USB stick. Apparently they've got known issues with compatibility there though I don't know why. Um, and it needs to be uh, between eight and 16 gigs uh, in minimum. Uh, you can get away with eight, you can get away with 16. I wouldn't go less than eight. You could go bigger than that if you wanted to, but you're just gonna waste a USB stick, uh, in my opinion, while you've got uh, never or the, the cloud ready software on there. Also, of course, you're going to need an internet connection, which I presume you've got based on the fact that you're watching this video, but of course, you're also gonna need an internet connection for uh, your laptop and whatever PC you use you're gonna to need to be able to connect to the internet to download the stuff. So one other thing that I wanted to mention, and I'll bring it up later as well, is that if your laptop has more than one hard drive in it, like this Elite Book does, you'll need to remove the second hard drive. Never wear the, the company that makes Cloud Ready or Cloud Ready, who, whoever's in charge of this installation process. Um, they don't give you any options. They don't give you any control over what happens. Uh, once you start the install process, you're done. It just does its thing and you don't get any choices in anything. So if you've got a second hard drive in your laptop, take it out. Um, you can put it back in later if you want, but during this install process, you need to take out the second hard drive or it will just randomly decide to install it there instead. So just something to keep in mind. So I think with all of that being said, that's pretty much everything that we need. Um, I will have uh, links to uh, the site where you'll go ahead and download the software. Um, I'll have that in the description down below, so be sure to check that out. Um, but I think that's all we need to get started. So let's switch camera angles. We'll jump over to my desktop so that we can, I can show you where to download the software and then how to create the USB drive. Okay, so this is the website where you'll download the Cloud Ready software. It's made from a, a company and organization called Neverware, and this is the page that you'll use to download it. Um, of course, there's gonna be some steps here that you'll wanna go through. Uh, first thing is checking your network and hardware compatibility, uh, just to make sure that your uh, your laptop is compatible. Uh, it should be. Uh, if, it, if it's got an Intel or even an AMD processor in there, it should be fine. Um, and the next thing he says is building your cloud ready installer. Uh, we're just going to download USB maker and, and go that route to do that. But if you're on a Mac or a Chromebook, uh, there are different ways that you can do that as well, but that's not what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to download the USB maker and we're going to install with that. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. You can see that I've got the cloud ready USB maker there on the top left corner. But before we can actually run that, of course, we're gonna to need to plug in our USB drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then if I pop this open, you can see that I've just put in this new volume H, 16 gigs. So that's the one that we're going to install uh, cloud ready on uh, so that we can put it on our uh, laptop. So uh, we'll go ahead and close this, I uh, will run this. Probably gonna, yep, it's gonna ask if I'm sure that I wanna do that with UAC. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this up. Now, um, it says that you're gonna need either eight or 16 gigs. Um, you could probably go bigger than that without any issue, but I wouldn't go less than eight here. Um, and it says 20 minutes for USB installer creation. That's no joke. Like it really will take a long time for this USB to, to do its thing for this program, to create the USB to be bootable the way it needs to be. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, click next here. We want to use a 64 bit. Like it says here, most computers after 2007 are 64 bit. Um, 
you'll want to check with your laptop uh, to see if it's a 32 or 64 bit, but chances are it's 64 bit. So we'll go ahead and click next here. So here it says SanDisk uh, devices are not recommended. Uh, apparently they've had issues with those in the past. I've run into issues where certain drives do work better than others. I'm going to use a Kingston uh, drive here, just like I've done in a lot of my other videos. Um, so we'll go ahead and just go ahead and click on next. Again, I've got a 16 gig drive in there. There's that Kingston drive. So we'll go ahead and click next again. So and now it's going through the process of downloading um, the ISO that it needs from uh, from their servers. Um, I don't know why they don't. I mean, they do make it available, um, but it, the, the, the files that you can download to create your own USB are uh, a format that none of the software I've ever used um, can actually use to create your own USB bootable system here. So you kind of have to use their program to create this this bootable USB, and I hate it. That's the one thing I really, really hate about this whole process. Other than this part right here, actually. Um, so it says right now that it's extracting the compressed image and that's great. Um, I'm glad that it says that, but it's just got this progress bar that zooms by and you don't actually know how long it's going to take. You don't know how far into the process you really are. Um, it, it's just, it's this, this bar that's like I said, zooms by just to let you know that it's still working. Uh, I guess if it were to freeze up or if it were to become non-responsive, that would theoretically stop moving. So you could, I guess, use that as an indicator, but it doesn't actually give you any idea as to uh, how far along in the process you are or how much longer it's going to take. And I hate that. It's, it's, I wish they would do something different here, but uh, from my experience, the, the guys behind uh, Cloud Ready don't really seem to listen to a lot of people uh, based on the requests I've seen in, in different places. So uh, at this point, we just have to sit and wait uh, for this to complete. Um, and once it's done, then we'll come back. Okay, so now that that's done after like 10 or 15 minutes or something, um, I'll, I'll post it on the screen how long it actually was. Uh, but now that that's done, we can go ahead and click on finish, um, eject the drive and move over to the laptop. Okay, so here we are looking at my laptop uh, or my laptop screen rather. And uh, I've got the USB uh, device that I just created here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and I'll press uh, power and I'll start tapping escape. Okay, so for my laptop, I'm pressing escape and then F9 to get into the boot options. Uh, there's a really good chance that yours will be different than that. Uh, use Google to figure out what your options are. Uh, I'm not gonna answer any of those questions. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. Uh, Google's out there and you can use that to figure out what the uh, process is to get into your boot options. Cool, so now right here it says press F9 to select the boot device options. So I'm gonna do that. And then I want it to boot from the external USB hard drive. So I'm gonna press enter. Let adjust that a little bit, see if we can't get less of, uh, less of those crazy wavy lines across there. Eh, sort of. Man. Anyway, so now we're booting into Cloud Ready. Uh, of course, this is the uh, their loading screen. Here in a second, it should take us to a screen where we can start the process to create uh, to create our install here. Okay. So now it's this, this should look familiar if you're familiar with Chrome OS and Chromebooks, that sort of thing. So what we want to do here is go ahead and click on uh, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the, the wireless US or the wireless network here. And then I'm going to turn off sending metrics. I don't like to send metrics if I don't have to. You can leave that if you'd like, but I'll click continue. So here it's going to ask us <clears throat> to sign in and um, we'll go ahead and, and do that. Okay. So I don't know why it's having you sign in here. Um, originally I thought that it was saving that for later. So you could just do it here and not have to sign in later, but as you'll discover later, you're going to have to sign in again. So I, I think this part's stupid and I wish Neverware would do something different with their install process here. Um, but they didn't. So you're going to sign in here. And then after the install, you're going to sign in again. We're going to close that. 
and then we're going to close this. So the thing, another thing that I don't like about this is normally you'd expect to see something up here that says install now or, or something like that. But instead it's, it's hidden down here, click that. And then it's install OS. Um, so go ahead and click on there and we'll click on install cloud ready. Now I want to reiterate uh, something that I said earlier, and that's if your if your laptop or whatever has multiple hard drives in it, um, take out that second hard drive because this is just going to randomly pick whatever it wants to install to. This laptop actually has two hard drives in it. I took the second one out. Um, it's actually uh, right here uh, in this CD drive. Um, that's just how HP does that. Um, but you'll want to make sure that you take out any or disconnect any drives that you don't want it to try to install to. Uh, it becomes a headache. So just take everything out. Um, so go ahead and click on install. Um, and then once install starts, it can be canceled. Again, that's something that they do. Um, and we're going to go ahead and click on install here. And it throws a little error saying, hey, you disconnected. You, you didn't. It's just being stupid. Anyway, this will kind of run and do its thing for a while as well. Again, there's something that I really, really hate about this, and I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully show you that here once we get to the end. But again, it doesn't give us any indication as far as how far it is in the process or what it's doing or how much longer you've got or in the percent percentages, nothing. There's no indicator other than, hey, it's, it's running and that's it. When it's done, it just shuts itself off. No notifications, no, hey, we're done, nothing. It just shuts off. And, and, and I just, I don't like their, their process to go from, um, even just the downloading and creating the USB device to, to creating or installing here. It's all just a real, real big headache. And I don't like what they've done here. Okay, so like I said, it just shut off. So um, we have to assume that it's done. I know it said on that screen that it was that it would do that, but it's just a process, part of the process that I really hate that they've done there. So I'll go ahead and take out the USB drive. And power the Chrome or power the laptop back on into Chrome OS. So again, there's our cloud ready screen. That's good. That's what we want to see there. Except that now we get to log in again. Again, they've, they've done just a real crap job with this process in my opinion. Okay, so again, we can take a tour if we want to. I'm gonna skip that. I'm pretty familiar with Chrome OS at this point, so I'll close that. Uh, I'm gonna close their, their intro here. And here you can see that we've got just our Chrome button there. <clears throat> Um, it shows that I'm signed in, but I haven't synchronized anything. Uh, if you want to do that, <clears throat> you can come down here to the bottom and you can click right there and go through the process of uh, synchronizing all of your information and, and, and whatever that looks like for your instance. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's the process of turning an old laptop into a more usable Chromebook. The process itself isn't terribly difficult. It's just kind of time consuming and tedious because of the way that Neverware has built their software around the Chrome OS uh, platform. Uh, I think there's a lot of improvement that could be done there, but um, I think they're deliberately trying to make it a little bit more difficult so that you'll you'll buy their enterprise stuff. You'll buy one of their you'll you'll just buy into their ecosphere a bit more to simplify your life. I don't know that that's speculation. But uh, I think that there's a lot of improvements that could be made to this install process. So I think that pretty much covers everything that we needed to cover as far as how to convert an old laptop into a Chromebook. So uh, if you've got questions or comments, uh, anything like that, of course, leave those down in the description below. But that's pretty much it. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.